What's going on, everybody? This is Derail. We got a, a quick rant. I got to get this off my chest. I got to get this nut off. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to black people, we as a people need to learn to do one thing. And it's a simple thing. I had to turn off that TV. And it's a simple thing. We need to stay on code. It's too much stuff going on in this world that's against us for us not to be together. We got all sorts of things going on at the same time, and it seems like people cannot get on the same goddamn page. We got trust funds being made with real estate. We got people trying to build schools. We got people getting killed. We got a bitch in the White House that used to work in the White House. Now she don't work in the White House, but now she's shitting on the White House. And everybody has a negative opinion on what black folks are doing. At the end of the day, we need to come together publicly. If we come together publicly, we can have our own opinion privately when it comes to Omarosa. Stop throwing this bitch under the bus. When it comes to Omarosa, the bitch was a daggone coon. She sucked on daggone Donald Trump's dick. She got herself into the White House. She's recording them. She got all type of dirt. But black people always want to start this shit. Oh, I can't respect what she did. Why not? Don't worry about what she did. Worry about what she's doing right now to get this goddamn yellow Cheeto out the fucking White House. House. Stay on code. Jay Morrison, the dude got a dag on uh, a, a fund where he gathers money to buy real estate and people could gain equity in it, this, that, and the third. If you don't like it, you don't have to like it. You don't have to publicly be out here talking about boom, 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 it's a scam, it's a sham, it's this, that, and the third. Because on the flip side of Jay Morrison, with his Tulsa real estate fund, you got a white guy named Grant Cardone who does the same daggone thing, who does not give you poor black folks the option to invest because the minimum you have to put in is, I think, 10000 or 100000 which most black folks don't have, which is sad. And he doesn't really care about your black ass. He just care about funding his his fund so he can make more deals and make more money. At least Jay Morrison got y'all motherfuckers coming in at $50 and saying, here, you could put your stake in. You might not get a big ass return because $50 ain't shit when you're trying to do million dollars. I mean, not $50, $500 ain't shit when you're trying to do million dollar deals. But hey, at least you will be part of something that is good for the culture. We have to learn to stay on code. If people, especially, okay, if black people or on some negative bullshit outright, you know what? Don't say nothing. Don't say anything. Especially you black ass Negroes out there and Negroettes. The daggone black feminists confuse black women when it's coming to these daggone uh, women getting their ass whipped by nail salon people. It's a lot of y'all bitches need to stay on code too. Because I see the fucking uh, the, the messages on Facebook and I see the daggone comments on Instagram. A lot of these black bitches... Well, if she would have just paid her bill, this wouldn't have happened. Get the fuck out of here. Whose side are you on? Because white supremacy ain't coming to y'all daggone aid when they see y'all black asses getting beat in the street by these daggone Asian storefront owners. The daggone feminist movement ain't coming to support y'all when y'all getting y'all asses beat by these daggone uh, a Asian nail and hair weave owners. Nobody's coming to y'all aid. But so let's get this straight. If this was a black man beating this woman ass, you ought to say, oh, that's a, that's horrible. That's this. If it was a black nail salon and a black man would have beat, the, beat these women the same way that these Asian people are, y'all would have stood on the side of the black woman 100%. Y'all got these Asian people, they just kicking ass, doing all type of kung fu flip flips, grabbing hair and shit, and you motherfuckers don't stay on code. I see your comments in all of these social media, Facebook and Instagram groups. A lot of you women need to be ashamed of yourself and need to be shoved back up in the fucking womb so you can cook a little bit longer because I've heard comments like, well, if she didn't uh, act a certain way, they wouldn't have put her hands on him. Oh, she, she hit him first, so... Um, he retaliated, this, that, and the third. Stay the fuck on code. When you and your dad go in kitchen with your damn single parent mother that raised your fucking stupid funky ass and y'all cooking chitlins and fucking fried collard greens and, and chicken and all type of crazy shit, yeah, you know what? That could be water cooler talk. But when you on public, dag on entities where the world sees, stay the fuck on code because you make yourself look stupid you make black people as a culture all the way around look like a bunch of goddamn unorganized fucking fools and the shit 
needs to fucking stop. Even with Umar Johnson. Umar Johnson tried to raise money to rape, buy a fucking school, and y'all motherfuckers still couldn't stay on code. Y'all found any which way to dag on, disintegrate his reputation that y'all could. It is so fucking sad. But when LeBron James all made a school, because he got fucking millions of goddamn dollars and didn't have to crowdfund, he made a public school. He made a school that's for the public, which he doesn't own. He just funded it. So he doesn't get to put down any sort of a uh, curriculum. He doesn't have to, he doesn't get to put out any guidelines, this, that, and the third. They took his money. He gave his money to the state. The state put the money into a school and now he has a school. But when Dr. Umar Johnson tried to make a school with a crowd fund, just like, uh, uh, just like, uh, uh, Jay Morrison is doing with his real estate fund, doing it for the people, with the people, through the people. Everybody and their mama had a goddamn fucking uh, 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 grievance with it. If he takes the money and scams people, let the daggone SEC Security and Exchange Commission deal with them. Let the FBI deal with them. Let the government deal with them because they don't want you to see, they don't want to see this shit happen anyway. So if he gonna do wrong by people that are giving him money, they will lock his black ass up because he's a force to be reckoned with. And when it came to these two, speaking of these uh, staying on code, Umar Johnson and Tariq Nasheed, y'all two niggas need to stay on code and Dr. Boyce fucking Watkins. How can you make a great fucking documentary like Hidden Colors and y'all niggas don't get along? It's too much fucking ego, especially when it's come to this YouTube shit. Niggas get a lot of fucking ego when it come to YouTube and lose their goddamn fucking mind and forget about the people that are supporting them and forget about what goals they're trying to reach and what threshold they're trying to cross. And you have to deal with certain people. Let all that and let's go to YouTube, Jay Morrison, talking about, oh, uh, uh, people ain't my equal. Nobody want to hear that shit when you're trying to fucking uh, get their money. People, it's too much ego. It's too much arrogance. It's like y'all want to be rappers on a different level. Like nobody can't tell y'all shit. Nobody can't answer, ask you a question. Or if they ask you a question that you don't want to answer, you get upset. Niggas need to stay on code. Let me get back on code. Niggas need to stay on code. Is a motherfucker doing a business out here? Either you support them or you don't. You don't have to voice your opinion publicly on why you're not going to do what or what you're not going to do, this, that, and the third. It makes us look weak because I got friends all over the fucking globe from this side of the daggone hemisphere from the other side. White, black, Puerto Rican, Asian, Brazilian, Dominican, Colombian, Cuban, this, that, and the third. And I will never see on their feed them talking about someone from their race and their culture in a negative light except black people. Black people are the only ones that are separated in this world, in this country. You got Haitians that talk about American black people. You got black people that talk about African black people. You got Africans that won't even fucking associate with black people that were born and raised in the United States. But at the end of the day, everybody's against you because of your color. It don't matter where you're from. It don't matter how your English is. It don't matter what is your first, second, and third language. But people will never stay on fucking code and that's the goddamn motherfucking problem with our culture we can't get along we don't have to get along but we need to get along in public and we can solve our grievances and our complaints in private this is derail it's my first rant of 2018